Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry. I help you organize your home, preps, and travel so that you can make life simple and special. Today I am in my kitchen and we are going to continue my updated and organized kitchen series. We are going to declutter, clean, and organize under the kitchen sink over here. So let's get started. This is my kitchen sink area. It looks like this when it's all clear and done. Probably be bringing those to uh, the laundry room, get a fresh set. And here is under the kitchen sink. To the left is the dishwasher. Then I have three drawers here. And then these are fake drawers. I have these rods that I've um, screwed in that hold uh, kitchen towels there. And sometimes I uh, change them out for seasonal looking towels. Then I have this here that I know everything is good there. I've already wiped this down. And then I have the same pot holders uh, on these command hooks that I've had for a long time. And let's see what's under here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is declutter. So I'm gonna bring everything out, okay, and then go through them. And then I'm gonna clean up this space. I've actually already cleaned up the um, cabinets. These are old cabinets. I'm not gonna redo my kitchen probably for a couple more years or a few more years. My daughter just started college. My son had finished college, so we're focused on that. And then hopefully we can do our kitchen renovation. Cross my fingers, okay? Uh, so let's just take everything out here. Okay. I actually got these containers from the container store. And I'll link whatever I can down below, okay? and I haven't labeled them, so I'll probably finally label them. You have to buy the container and this separately. Okay, the other thing I'll do when I'm done decluttering, and it's the cleaning part, I will wash all these bins. They haven't been washed in a while. I had some um, problems with uh, crickets here just recently I think just during the summertime and this container is also from the container store you can see like it's a drawer I actually like this I just wish that it wouldn't move around so much when I actually open the drawer, open the drawer and then I'll just leave that brush there and so the major thing I had done with my under the kitchen sink was to get a Berkey, um, since that's better for those of you who like to prep, it cleans the water better. And I took out the reverse osmosis machine that was here, but I think some of the the um, the tubing is still here. Okay, but I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, I have these on um, command hooks up here. These are from the container store. I've had these forever. One is for electronics, and the green is for furniture, um, maybe like blinds or chairs or things like that. Okay. Then I have this, which I'm keeping. It's a little zapper. I also have lots of mosquitoes recently. Been in this house a long time, and all of a sudden, the mosquitoes love me. Well, the mosquitoes have always loved me, but now they love me in my house. Uh, okay, so let's start decluttering. Okay, so this is real life. It doesn't look as nice and cute when it's all new, but I think I'm going to let go of this because it really doesn't work the best for me. And I'm going to let go of this too. I feel like we never use this and it's like a pain to keep clean and we have to always buy new sponges, which my, the sponges I use now are completely fine. And then this one, it's a baby bottle cleaner, but I have it for like straws and stuff. So I'll keep this. Um, this has to go back to um, the toothbrush container uh, that I use for like cleaning the cabinets, like crevices of the cabinets and the sink and baseboards okay so this is for the um, garbage disposal I only need one but somehow I just feel nervous and I keep two 
And then I gotta clean out this mason jar. And this, um, I gotta get a new one or a new blade. Um, so this helps me clean the ceramic top for my stove, or my, yeah, for my stove, but I need a new one, obviously. Okay, keeping this, barkeeper's friend. That's the cooktop cleaner, keeping that. Quick top, keeping all these, okay. And some of my Aero Garden fell in there, so let me clean that up. Okay, the only hard thing about this is that it's attached, and I did that on purpose, but when stuff gets behind here, it's not really that easy to clean. I'm cleaning it now because I'm here, and I really don't enjoy cleaning this part. So I try to do this every quarter, okay? Um, I switch it up in ways, you know, as far as scheduling, how I do these things. I usually try to deep clean one part of my kitchen on Wednesdays. So I just pick a certain part and that's when I usually get something like this done or I add it to spring cleaning or I add it to fall cleaning. But, I don't really like to do deep cleaning in the summer. So this is the hard part, you know, is getting into these crevices. That's why you need that toothbrush. And I just wish I could just get new cabinets. Okay, so see this part. I've already painted these cabinets once by myself. Oh no, with the kids, I forced them. That's, that, that's, that's been a few years. And I mean, there's a lot of, just needs a new cabinets. It's hard to, can't just paint over these anymore. They're not the most expensive cabinets anyway. So we just need new ones. Okay, yeah. This won't come off, at least with this. You just try to get the hinges and stuff. All right, I also have a rug that goes here that is currently in the washer. I did get a rug that is washable. Let me put aside the ones that going, keeping, throwing, cleaning. Okay, this is um, borax. Okay, this is a dishwashing detergent. And I think this is more borax, okay. So I usually use the borax most. I barely use my dishwasher. Um, so I'll just keep that there. And you could get a little, um, it's like a shot glass from Solo. You could get that at any uh, grocery store. So it looks like that and it fits perfectly in this size container. So all those are keep. I will be washing those containers. Okay, this one is a, you need this in your kitchen, make it accessible. I like to keep the ring that comes with it. Okay, because, so no one makes a mistake when we, um, you know, accidentally might turn it on. Okay, then I just have some basic bleach and I have this um, that I got from the thrift store, uh, milk glass. I used to have a milk glass collection and you could see um, we've gone through a few of these, but I just haven't been using it recently. My husband likes to use stuff like this, um, but I've just kept it away for now. And then I definitely have to wash that. And then you could see that it does get dirty. So you do have to clean after you declutter. I just cleaned the cabinet for now because I was there. And like I said, that's like the part I don't like to do. So I'm going to see if this doesn't fit in this drawer i'm going to put it with the other if it doesn't fit in this drawer i'm going to put it in the bug stuff that's in the garage but i don't want to but hopefully it fits because they're like glue traps and i think they'll melt in the garage so we'll see okay i might have to take them out of the box all right so in here I have um, oven, easy off for the oven, oh, gel stick, 
I think I've used that for the sink. Goo Gone, yes. Always need Goo Gone. When you buy stuff and like the sticker stays on forever, I love it for that. This is a homemade um, like pledge or wood cleaner. Oh no, can I rewind? No, that's not homemade. This is, I just put it into this container. Okay. Um, this is my, um, I just, just soap, a uh, dishwashing soap and water. That's what I use to clean the countertops. And these are bleach tablets, if you can see that in the mason jar. And I just changed out the lid. And then, then this is silver cleaner. Though I've let go of my silver, I'll just keep this for now. I don't know if it's dried out. Okay, I'm gonna... I might uh, just keep this for now because I do think, I think I have one or two pieces that I still keep. All right, so in this container, got the um, glass cleaner. I, I like this other brand, not this one in particular, but it works for now. And since I already have it, um, I'm just trying to use it up and I don't use it a lot in the kitchen. So it's taking a while. And then this is 50-50 vinegar. This is for... Um, don't use on granite and stone. This is when I made my own um, cleaners. This one, funny, funny. I think this is, um, I think this is cleaner also for the countertops, but I use a different, a green colored dishwashing liquid. That's why it's greenish. And then this actually doesn't belong here. It belongs in the bathroom. I have a stash of this. Um, because I, when we needed Epsom salt like the most, we didn't have any. And so I always keep a, a bunch. Okay. This container, I think I keep this when um, I'm mixing stuff with the essential oils, but I don't know why. I'm not sure why I should keep this. This one funnels. Let's keep it for now. Okay. I need new gloves. I don't use gloves too often. So I think I need a new pair. So let go of these. And you can see that I'm letting go of that one thing, but I have this. Um, so I'll have to let this go. And this was like one of those um, soap and lotion holders that you get from like TJ Maxx or something. So I just kept the container and I like to keep this. This actually should go in that mason jar I showed earlier. And this, I think I just keep in case I want to use it again and the nice thing about these containers especially if you're looking for stuff for your under the kitchen sink is that they're stackable i like that they stack and they also stack on that drawer thing so here are some gloves these are these i'll keep so i think what i'll do is i'll these are the ones that my daughter uses she loves to use gloves um, so I'm going to get one probably also white and then maybe clip them with a binder clip just to keep them separated these, um, my husband likes these. I kind of like them, but obviously I'm not using them that much. So I think what I'd like to do is to find, maybe just put them in a Ziploc bag. So just to keep it cleaner. And then these are those white magic things. I'm gonna throw this one away. This one, I, I'm not sure. I think um, something sold me on um, using this to wash dishes. You just get this all soapy and just use your hands. I never use it, so I'm gonna let that go. And then these are the, this is a toothbrush I use for, it's obviously it says cabinets. I have the other toothbrush. Then I have these and they just don't look good, right? I just might get a whole new set. Cause it, I mean, to clean your walls with this, it, and it doesn't even look clean. Looks like I'll just put dirt on dirty walls or whatever I'm using them for, okay? Okay, so you could just get toothbrushes at the Dollar Tree and containers like this. So you can see they're labeled sink, cabinets, and this one, baseboards. So I need to get a third toothbrush for the baseboards there, but that's for the sink. Why I separate them? I guess I just like to, I don't think you have to. Okay, so now I'm going to just wash all of these containers. I'll just do one of them so you can see my process here. So I usually just clean the outside, I mean, 
both the outside underneath, then like the insides of here, all four um, walls, I guess. And then I clean the bottom. Okay, then I put on self-explanatory, but I guess I have to talk during the video. I hope you can hear me. I'll probably talk louder. Okay, so when I do something like this, I like to try to keep the kitchen sink completely clear. Um, cleaning is not necessarily my forte. I do it because you have to, right? You don't want a dirty house. And so just keeping the area clear when I'm doing a deep cleaning like this just makes the process easier. So I'm gonna put this for now. Sometimes I put stuff like that It'll drip into the sink. It doesn't really get so wet on the counter or I put it in my dishwasher uh, as a drying rack. Get one here that's kind of a little bit dirtier. See how that cleans up. Okay, so for the outside. you to declutter, clean, and organize under your kitchen sink. I know when I'm cleaning, like if I'm doing like a deep cleaning, I would probably have the TV on right now, which is actually in front of me in the family room, and watch either cleaning videos or a podcast or something that doesn't um, require my complete attention or even like reading. Sometimes there's videos where you have to read, they talk and then you have to read, no. I find something where I know I can just listen to the person and it's either informative or entertaining. Okay, there, it came out. So, I just clean the outside. This one does become a story. Yeah, let me know in the comments below how often do you clean underneath your kitchen sink? All right there so I will finish up the rest and come back okay so I've already washed all of the containers here washed and wiped those down washed a few of those wiped down the bottles over here and washed and wiped those so now I'm going to wipe the containers all right everything is wiped down and then I'm going to get this rag with um, soap and water and we're gonna wipe down the bottom of underneath the sink. back because I had um, a leak under my sink twice. The second time it was too much that um, we had to change the board and then I put this in. So I think it's been good. All right, so I've decluttered and cleaned and now it's time to organize. And I went ahead and put stuff back where I think they should go. And then I'm gonna put the containers in. And I threw away the things that I said I was gonna get rid of. And so this is what's in here now. But before I go with the inside here, I wanna show you that I went ahead and changed this around because I feel like the little fire extinguisher should be more accessible. So I put it here and I put the toothbrushes in here with the other cleaners and the scraper and then the two cleaners there. Okay, so those are the cleaners, and then I call these the daily cleaners. And luckily this drawer thing um, has this kind of lip here where it can fit. And um, these containers I got from Amazon a long time ago. So it fits like that, and it looks nice and uniform. So I put the daily cleaners, the ones that I use more often up here so that they're easier to access like that versus going into the drawers and then oh yeah by the way the these did fit in here so I just kept them in the boxes and then over here I put the steel wool 
in a Ziploc and put that little tray there. And the nice thing with these containers, like I said, they're stackable, but since, you know, underneath you can configure it to getting shorter ones or longer ones or wider ones. And then this one, I'll have to get more magic erasers. This one will be for gloves. And I put it this way because we access the gloves more than the magic erasers, than the steel wool. All right, hope you can see that. And then so for this, the calcium lime and rust, I got a bigger one like this because I wanted to have a container, this one for the sponges and it fits there so that the tall bottle can go in the back here and I can have this sitting on top. I could put um, more sponges here, which I'm going to, and then put more in here. So I like to have a bunch of sponges as backup or backstock. These are the sponges I use, so just open them up and start putting them in, kind of in the same direction. And whatever doesn't fit, I will put underneath in that bigger container. So I order these off of Amazon, but I usually sometimes, but I also get them at um, Target and that's where I've seen them. So I can have it like that. So this will probably, this will last me a while. Okay, there. And then the ones that didn't fit in that smaller one, I'm just gonna put in here. And hopefully that's enough space. All right. Okay, fits perfectly, and then this goes on top. Oops, a little bit that way so that the label is facing out. All right, over here I'm gonna put the bleach and it goes behind this uh, drain there. I don't use the bleach often, probably maybe once a week, so it's okay for me to kind of pull this out Move this over a little and grab it that way. But if things like that bother you, then you just find a way to make it more accessible. And last but not least, we have these. And you can see like it doesn't fit perfectly, which is which is fine. You could either put it there or over against there. And if I really need more space, like here towards the front, I can push this back and I still have more space for stuff. But this is all I need underneath. Okay, so that's the borax, and the detergent, and then these are OXO containers, or OXO, and I just like to keep them all facing the same direction, and that's borax there. And then my little zapper. Oh, maybe I'll put it like this. Okay, now what I've done is I've taken my label maker and made labels for each of the containers. This one says sponges, and I'll probably cover the word that says index. All right, what I've done instead is take out that piece of paper that says index on it and I put it directly onto the plastic covering because this has a plastic on it. Okay, here are the categories, daily, cleaners, gloves, magic erasers, steel wool, heavy duty, bleach, detergent, and sponges. <music> I cleaned the rug and put it back and this probably took about 55 minutes to an hour it was about 10 minutes to clean and um, use a toothbrush to clean the outside of the cabinets and the handles and stuff and the inside of the uh, door cabinets then about another 25 to 30 minutes to actually clean the containers and then wipe them dry that's the part that took the longest Decluttering was probably about five minutes if I wasn't talking to you and explaining the things that I was letting go of because a lot of this stuff is already um, decluttered and the system has been working for me for a while now. And then as far as organizing, that was about 10 minutes just putting everything back and putting on the label. So if uh, you're going to do underneath your kitchen sink, just kind of give yourself at least an hour, um, less, maybe more, depending on how much you have to declutter how much you have to um, uh, figure out the configuration and things like that. All 
I hope you enjoyed this video of how I've decluttered, cleaned, and organized under the kitchen sink. Just keep in mind that once you have a system in place, that if you are able to maintain it, then it is a good system for you. So hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification and join me on this journey to help you organize your home preps and travel so that you can make life simple and special. Bye.